Inventor of the shield tunneling machine is truly a genius. It is like a steel dragon that moves through the depths of the underground and drills a spacious underground tunnel. At the front, there is a rotating cutter head with durable and wear-resistant blades. As the hydraulic cylinders at the rear push the cutter head forward, the excavated soil and rocks are scraped onto the inner side of the cutter head and transported away through a conveyor belt in the middle. After the shield tunneling machine advances a certain distance, it stops operating and the hydraulic jacks at the rear retract. This allows for the installation of seven segmented tunnel lining rings at the gap. These rings are manufactured in special factories outside the tunnel and transported inside using flatbed rail cars. They are then lifted and placed in position by dedicated machinery. Once the installation is complete, it effectively prevents tunnel collapse. The gap between the segments and the tunnel is filled with specialized cement. Subsequently, the hydraulic cylinders extend again to their fixed positions and the process repeats, allowing continuous excavation. Some shield tunneling machines also have a layer of waterproof sealing membrane installed on the lining rings. On top of the membrane, a circular steel reinforcement frame is placed, followed by the pouring of concrete. The top of the tunnel is further reinforced by using dedicated molds for placement and casting, ensuring the stability of the tunnel. In